Friends of Gravity, I know I shouldn't have, but I couldn't resist. I ordered a marble run on Temu. In this bag, there is a fake Hubelino marble run miniaturized to be compatible with regular Lego. This is the box, variable track building blocks from the Zwanma brand, ages six and up, 540 pieces and the whole thing set me back now 32 euros. So that's of course really cheap. Yeah, and the main thing is this just looks like a massive Hubelino marble run. So they miniaturized the whole Hubelino concept and that was of course very interesting to me and I definitely wanted to take a look at this. On the back of the box, they advertise some additional sets of the same brand. And from looking at those builds, I instantly notice that the variation of pieces seems to be much lower than with actual Hubelino, which reduces costs, of course. And I don't know, guys, is this even legal? Can they just take Hubelino, miniaturize it and sell it under their brand? And this is, uh, this is a legal business model? I don't know. So if you know anything about that, please leave me a comment down below. Can I just order this and feel fine as a customer? Or is this, am I, you know, participating in something illegal when I buy this now? Let's open this up. Yeah, amazing. There's no doubt about it. This is miniaturized Hubelino. Hubelino in the size of Lego. Absolutely amazing. Let's get this out. One base plate and many, many tracks and building blocks. Seeing those marble run tracks in this size feels really a little bit odd. I'm so not used to seeing these kinds of elements in this size. When I see this, I'm not even sure, is this the actual size of Lego building blocks? But when you look at the building blocks, then it becomes instantly clear, yes, these are Lego sized. Let's get all of this out. These are the marbles and like some of the other China sets, there are little smiley faces on there. 514 pieces, this is supposed to be, I didn't count them. But of course at this scale, at the actual Lego building block scale, it doesn't look all that much, right? So I had this 585 pieces Hubelino set on this channel and that was of course absolutely massive. Compared to that, this is of course rather tiny. Before I start setting this up, I need to check two things. First, how does this compare to real genuine Hubelino? This is a 180 degree turn by Hubelino and this is a miniaturized knockoff piece from this set and yeah, they look exactly the same, but in a different scale. So they basically took Hubelino and miniaturized it. This is the funnel, same thing here, looks exactly the same, but much smaller. And the slopes, this is Hubelino and this is the Zwanma miniaturized knockoff Hubelino. And I wanted to check if this is actually compatible with genuine Lego. I hope you can see this. These are actually genuine Lego building blocks. Yeah, those are definitely compatible. You can build with those together. They fit quite tightly. The tracks and pieces feel all right. The outer walls of this year seem to be a little bit thin, but everything else feels okay and solid. So not terrible quality here, kind of okay. These are the building instructions, of course, rather simple, just a simple leaflet. And in 35 steps, you can build up this marble run then. And that seems to be the build that's on the box here. I'm gonna try and set this up. I meant to set this up now without interrupting myself, but I instantly have to comment on this. So this here is really tiny print and it also features no count of the studs between the parts you set up and the edges of the building plate. This is really gonna be a pain now to count all the studs and find out where to put those elements 
at the first layers. This will really take a while and this could take away some of the fun for children. As I expected, building this up with these instructions here is a little bit painful. The print is really very small and you have to really concentrate counting the studs here to get everything right on this first layer here. One thing I noticed that I really like, those 180 degree curves that also reduce height, they exist in two versions. One reduces height this way and the other one the other way around and that's really cool. I had an Italian set on the channel before that was also kind of a Hubelino knockoff and they had those height reducing curves only in one direction and that is of course very limiting to the way you can build up marble runs with that so this is a positive surprise here. I have arrived at step 20 of these instructions now. One thing I noticed though is the colors of the building blocks seem to be completely random. There are much fewer blue and light blue building blocks in the box than are featured in the instructions. Other than that the whole build works quite well. I managed to count those studs right so overall I think I've kind of arrived at what this image here is asking for. That's it. This is now more or less exactly what's printed on the box if you disregard the colors. It's fascinating. It's like a miniature Hublino track and I still wonder that this should actually be legal. However, it's also fascinating so I can't wait to throw a couple of marbles in here now. Okay, interesting to see this track has two endings. So three of those funnels are connected to the track that leads down here and leads to this ending. And then the fourth funnel, this one, leads down this track and to this ending here in front. That causes only two of the marbles ending up here and the other six ending down here. Very interesting. I'm gonna try this again. One of the marbles always gets stuck here. I will try again to run just that marble. Yes, stuck again. And the reason for that seems to be that this slope here is positioned one stud further to the left than the others. So when the marble drops through the funnel, it doesn't land on the slope proper and it doesn't get enough speed to run through here. This is actually a mistake in this build, but it's not my fault. It's not me miscounting the stats or anything. That is actually the way they have printed this on the box here as well. If you want to run this marble run properly, you will have to fix that. I will try that quickly. This is a rather quick and dirty fix. This created some ugliness and some holes in this build now. But just to find out if that was really the reason for this part of the marble run not working, I tried this as a quick fix. So let's see if this works now.
Yeah, now it works. So this is clearly a mistake in this build here. Probably they fell into the trap they set up here with counting the studs. They made the same mistake when setting up this building instruction. And instead of fixing everything, they just left this slope here at the position and that led to the whole marble run not working here in this section. Okay, now that I've fixed this, I will throw in a couple of more marbles. Okay, that's very satisfying. Now it works. All the marbles have finished their course. Overall, what can I say about this? In a way, this is of course fascinating to see these Hubelino style tracks and this Hubelino style system miniaturized to the size of normal Lego. I like that. It's cool. So what I don't get is why didn't Hubelino do that themselves? They have Hubelino Pie, but it doesn't feature this colorfulness, this playfulness. I'm sure it's cool. I haven't tried it on the channel. I definitely want to check it out. But this kind of system taking the magic of Hubelino and the creativity of Hubelino and bringing it into the world of normal Lego, they didn't do it so far. So this niche is now occupied or trying to be occupied by these Chinese manufacturers. So Hubelino, if you see this, I think it would be a great idea if you would do the kind of same thing Take the high quality and creativity and variation in the pieces to the size of normal Lego. I think this could be a huge success. And of course the execution by this Chinese manufacturer is not really comparable to Hubelino. The biggest criticism I have is just the selection of pieces. There are just a couple of pieces that Hubelino has that are missing here. And also the build that's included in the building instructions. Well, I don't like it too much. This was my very short unboxing and review of the Zwanma Variable Track Building Block System. If you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos on all kinds of different marble run systems. And please remember, what goes up must come down here at Gravity Bytes.